what I just stepped in. I'm just at the back of uh, local brickworks and they're pumping water out from a, a dam over there and I just wanted to see if there was actually any clay at the surface which I stepped in right there. This is really soggy. I keep sinking. Oops, did it again. Um, the brown stuff really it's um it's sticky but it's quite short and the white stuff but I think there's actually a lot of water in that that's what I'm stepping in that's really soft but I think the sand at the surface anyway come for a walk I'll try not to get bogged again I just want to experiment with some stuff see what I could find um, I have no idea where that goes. They're digging up there. So I've collected, I'll just show you some iron up the track here that I've picked up. These little things. Picked up a bunch of those. I'm just going to fire that up in the next glaze kill, maybe. And um, see what temperature it melts at. And up here, so where you can start to see the red and the yellow and the white clay. Where's the white stuff gone? Big tree. Lots of flies around here, believe it or not. Well, there's a nice slippery bit, so you can see. See that? Ah, there we go. There's some nice stuff there, and that's right on the surface. The red feels like sand in the clay. But that stuff there, that looks like the stuff that Bennett's provides us with, that they dig straight out of the ground, that we pay how much? 15 bucks a bag for. Um, so that's that's promising. I'll come back and dig some of that up. I'm supposed to be out for a walk. Ha ha ha. Now I can't see where the white stuff was. I did find some. That was my finger, sorry. Yeah, see that's that's quite soft, but it's um it's very yellow. Yes, it's really, um, there's definitely some clay in there that's pl quite plastic on the top there. I'm going to need to come and dig up a bag and slake it down and see what happens. That's that brick red. I thought I'd find some in the stream down there, but I think it's actually, um, just under the surface. It's a very boggy track. There they are, there's the stacks. Hello bricks. So watch where I'm walking. This is actually a horse track. There it is. You can actually hear that at night. Can you see straight through between those two trees? It's sinking again. Some more red stuff. Heaps of it. There's their dam. Right through the middle there you can see the pump and the yellow dam. And this is the track which is actually the end of our road. Well, Hamilton Road. If I can find any more treasures. Oh, that's a rock. 
I know there's some lightish stuff around here because it's got uh, further road from us. It used to be Aston Park pottery, and I know he used to dig it out of his uh, out of the creek out the back. But I think the white stuff is um, oh some whitish. There we go. It's a lot of red. Heck of a lot of red. There's a lot of sand in that actually. There's not much clay in that at all. Just trying to be, not to get bogged again. <laughs> I got bogged. Look. Boggy feet. I'll have to give these a wash when I get home. Chimney through there. There's horses. Hello, horses. Hello. I don't say much, really. Do you, fellas? Yeah. Somebody's uh, poor old horse cart that didn't quite make it, by the looks of things. There's definitely clay down there. This is the uh, creek that um, hallets have filled up with bricks because I was going to come digging down here years ago. And um, you can't dig in the creek because I've tossed all of these broken bricks in there so it's a bit of a, a, bit of a pain because I thought I'd be able to um, find something. Oh, some mozzies. Ah, that's about it for uh, the tour of the promising clay pit, I hope. Alrighty, that's about it guys. We crack in the kiln tomorrow night. And we'll see you then. Cheers.